everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimply.ca and today I have the second workout in the Teach Me to Hit series. So this is a moderate level hit workout. We're going to be doing five exercises, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, four times through for each exercise. I've included both your warm up and your cool down. You don't need any equipment. I'll get my timer ready. We'll go ahead and get started. I've got my timer set up here to get started with our warm up and the first thing that we're going to do is slow butt kickers. We're doing these each for 30 seconds a piece. So for slow butt kickers you're just uh, bringing that heel up to your bum. We're working on range of motion here, we're not jumping yet. So it's like you're trying to kick yourself in the bum. Just a few more seconds here and we're going to move off into a forward lunge with a reach. So we're going to lunge forward and reach with our arms and then pull back as we stand up. So we're warming up our quads and our hamstrings. We're also warming up our core which is stabilizing us through this. And of course our upper back and our chest as we're moving our arms. Next up we've got a good morning so we're going to bend over and then we're going to come up and we're going to do a cactus bend in it so then sort of flex backwards. So bend over forwards and up and cactus back. So we're getting a little bit of movement in through our core here. Next up we've got a walking squat, so we're just going to get down low and we're going to walk a little bit to the side. Stand up, back down, and walk to the other side. Next up we're going to have jumping jacks. So we'll get our heart rate up a bit, get some good range of motion for the arms and the legs. Now we have walking up and outs. Just moving our leg, rotating it off to the side each time. We're getting some really great range of motion through our hips here. Next up is a squat with an overhead reach. So we're going to squat as low as your range of motion will give you and push up with your arms. As you reach up really push up and then really pull down as you bring your arms back down again. You might as well be using those muscles. The more you use them the warmer they will get and the more prepared we'll be for the cardio part. Next up we have stride jumps. So just opposite leg, opposite arm. Just a good cardio move here. Next up we have a standing side crunch. So we're going to alternate one side and then to the other and we're just crunching down to our knees. So elbow to knee. And we're going to 
move into a boxer shuffle. This is our last warm-up exercise. So we're just shuffling the weight back and forth between our feet here. And another real cardio move to get that heart rate up. Grab a quick drink of water and then come on back and we'll get started. Okay, we're ready to get into our cardio portion here of the HIIT workout. We're going to be starting with high knee holds. So remember, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. So a high knee hold is a run, run, and then hold the third one for an extra count. So one, two, hold, one, two, hold. So now I've got our first 10 second break. Doesn't matter what you're doing in your break as long as you're moving. So you could be marching, me running, I'm doing a boxer shuffle, and then right back into it. One, two, hold. So this is a really good cardio one to get us started. HIT is great because it burns a high number of calories in a short amount of time. Okay, this is the second break. So we have two more of those and then we'll move on to a new exercise. So back into it. Excellent. One more of these. Ready for the last one. Just a couple more seconds here. Okay, <clears throat> our next one we're going to get down on the ground. We're going to do four mountain climbers and then a push up. So just watch along here. So it's one, two, three, four, push up. One, two, three, four, push up. You've got a quick rest. You can stay down on the ground if you want to. You want to burn a few more extra calories? Hop back up. So you're trying to keep a flat back here. It's really hard, but you're going to try and keep that bum down. It's going to pop up a bit when you do those mountain climbers. That's normal. Okay, two down, two to go. So it's remember it's four mountain climbers and then a push up. And that's four on each leg. starting to find those push-ups really challenging so I may do them from my knees for the last round. If you need to modify as well that's totally fine. So you can just do that. And then if you can go back into a full push-up and whenever you need to drop back to your knees. Okay, next up we have lateral jumps with a vertical jump. So we're going to go one, two, three, and then vertical jump. Watch along. So it's one, two, three, four, 
three, jump. Because this is a teach me to hit one, there's lots of explosive, but it's not constant explosive. Oh, take your break. So a lot of these moves are mixed. Um, just to give your lungs, your muscles a bit of a break. Once you get really comfortable with these sort of moderate hits, then if you want to and you feel ready, you could move on to a really challenging hit. All right, two more of those, I think. I think. If you're ever wondering what move is coming up next, always remember the left hand side there that shows the preview. Okay, one more of those. one you're doing that vertical jump this is really some hard quad work okay now we're gonna get down on the ground again we're gonna do some cross toe touches and a single leg drop so we're gonna go one two three four drop one Drop the other. Start again. So four crosses and then two single drops. And again, you can sit here through your break if you want to. If you have the energy, hop up, do a boxer shuffle, march in place, whatever works for you. So one, two, three, four, single drop single drop. When we mix moves like this, we're also challenging our brain and challenging your brain while you're working out is very good for it. So again, like I said, you can hop up for these breaks and do a boxer shuffle. You'll definitely burn a couple extra calories if you do that, but it's not necessary and it's not much time, so you have to really hop back down. If we have one more or two more of those, we'll see. <laughs> if we do an extra one, well, just don't get mad at me. Okay, so crisscross and then single leg drop, single leg drop. One, two, three, four, one, two, one. Oh, I think that's the last one. That's what my timer's telling me anyways. <laughs> so now we're gonna do a jumping jack and a squat jack. So we're gonna jumping jack, squat jack. And it doesn't look that hard, but if you're doing it along with me, that squat jack is really working those quads again. And we already did work them when we did our vertical jumps. Okay, take a quick break. Jumping jack, squat jack. So for your squat jack, really try and try to get down low. And that means your legs down low. You're not just bending over at the waist. If it isn't burning, <laughs> you're probably not squatting. Okay, halfway through these. This workout is just flying along. Jumping jack, squat, hit, 
tends to go quickly. It's hard, it's challenging, but it's fast. Okay, and I think we have one more of those. What's nice about this is it's our last interval. So when this one's done, it's not just a break, it's cool down time. Big range of motion. Great job. So if you need to, pause and grab a drink of water. I'm just gonna keep it going, go right into the cool down with a boxer shuffle. So just like the warm-up, we're gonna be doing these exercises and stretches for 30 seconds a piece. Let your heart rate come down. Start to breathe again. Hopefully I won't have to gasp all the way through the cool down. Feel better knowing that I am huffing and puffing right along with you. These are hard workouts. Next up, we have slow butt kickers. So just pulling that heel up to your bum like you're going to kick yourself. Now that we're starting to move slower, that heart rate will start to come down. You'll be able to take deeper breaths. I have sweat sort of running down my face, running down my back. Sorry, this is this from the side. We're going to do a standing hip flexor stretch. I'm going to take my left leg behind, roll it under so that I'm really sort of pointing that hip forward and really pushing my bum under and sort of like scooping it under. And you should feel that nice stretch along the front of that left thigh. Just a few more seconds and then we're going to take this stretch on the other side. So we'll do the right leg next. So switch around again, right leg back, roll that bum and those hips, and you should feel it right along the front of the right leg there. Hip flexors are very tight, almost, I don't know, actually I don't know anyone personally who has nice, loose hip flexors. <laughs> they always need stretching. Just a few more seconds, then we're going to go into a bent over toe touch. So just bring your feet sort of hip distance apart and reach down. If you can touch the floor, that's great. If you can sort of curl your hands underneath your running shoes and give a little extra pull, that's good. You'll feel along the hamstrings there. If you can only get to your shins here, that's fine. You're just pushing your range of motion. a few more seconds. We're going to do a quad stretch. So I'm going to stand up. I'm going to take my left leg first. I'm feeling a bit wobbly after all that hard cardio. If you need to hold on to a chair or a wall, that's totally fine. Or you can try some of the other, oh my shirt is sticking, some other tricks. Hand on your belly button works. Finding a spot on the floor to stare at can help as well. Whatever sort of tricks work for you. But at, at this point it's hard to have balance on one leg. We've used up a lot of oxygen in our bodies. So just switching sides here. So that knee should be pointing down, straight down towards the ground. So it's not off to the side or forward or way back. It should be pretty much straight down. So after this stretch, we're gonna get down on the ground and we're gonna do a seated deep glute stretch. So be prepared to hop down. So hop down on the ground here. I'm going to take my left leg up and across my right, and I'm going to push into it. I'm going to take my toes and bend them back towards my knee. You can feel this all in behind here into the hip, in the glute for sure. It's quite a lovely feeling stretch actually at this point. So I'm just going to switch that off to the other side. So right leg up and across the left. 
push yourself up, toes back towards the knee. And we just have one more stretch after this and then you're all done. So we're going to do a butterfly stretch, put those soles of the feet together, grab your running shoes, and pull yourself over. We're going to have a flat back for this one, and we're concentrating on a stretch on the inner thighs here. Excellent work everybody. Let me know what you thought of this workout in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can get updates every time I load a video. Hope to see you again soon. To keep up to date with the latest workouts, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click like on Facebook. Have a workout request? Send it at gosimply.ca slash contact.